Hi everyone and welcome to the Ling Lab. This day I'm sharing with you my review on Elemental Science Biology for the Grammar Stage. Instead of just talking to you about my thoughts on it, what I thought I would do is show you some of the resources that you need to go along with it, how we use it specifically, um, and obviously then give you my thoughts on it at the end, just to make it a bit more interesting for you. So, Biology for the Grammar Stage by Elemental Science. You can get this off their website for a very, very reasonable price. I almost regret saying that because sometimes people then put the prices up but it is to be fair very reasonably priced however you do have to purchase additional books to go along with it and they are essential to complete the course so if you factor that in um to the price then i'd say it was a mid-range um science unit but or science course um but i still think taking that into consideration it's very it's priced very reasonably. So um, they have a paperback version, um, so you can have the books shipped to you, or you can have the PDF version. And can I just say, I absolutely adore, love companies who do PDF versions, especially not being in the US, because then I can just print it off myself at home with my lovely uh, printer that is um, EcoTank. So it, it, it I can just buy the ink refills and it runs and runs and runs. Um, so yes, please, 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 if you're a curriculum company watching this, offer more PDFs because not only um, do you save yourself on postage, things getting lost in the mail and everything else, um, you're providing a great service for people from other countries who can't necessarily have goods shipped to them. So yes, I love the fact that they do a PDF version on their website and this is the PDF version. I have it bound as you can see. Um, I just go to my local office store and it's uh, I think it was about £4.50 last year to have it bound um, but you can get it bound cheaper if you print back to back which I do not do. Okay so PDF version. So you get the teacher's guide, you also get a student workbook. Now you notice I do not bind this, um, that is because um, this year I thought that that would be the best idea but looking forward I think um, I might actually bind them now that she's getting a little bit older we'll be going into second grade um, so rather than having them in a binder I think I am going to bind hers as well. So you get the teacher's guide and the student workbook uh, as part of the actual package for the PDF version and you also get the quizzes as well to go along with it. However they do offer extras um, that you do have to pay separately for but we do get them and I do advise they make a great addition to purchase, but are not essential. And they are the lap booking templates and the colouring pages. Now, what I really love as well about this curriculum is they offer an extensive preview of the course on their website. So you can download a good sized preview, get an idea of how it works, but more importantly, what books are required to go along with it. Because sometimes you find with curriculums, they can recommend books, but then it's a mission to find them or they're out of print. So therefore very costly to find versions of them. So I love when a, a company does that list, the books that are going to be essential to you. So then you can obviously look around for secondhand ones, used ones, or um, you know, see if the additional books are within your budget to actually purchase the curriculum. Not only that, you get to, to look at a sample lesson and then you can actually even do a sample lesson with your little ones. So you know, you can read through everything and see if it's a good fit for you. And I think that is great when they do offer a full good sized preview of the course. Now for the biology unit, you have uh, 20, so you can see it goes up to week 20 units that uh, cover animals. There are six human body units, or six weeks in the human body unit, I should say. And there are six units, um, six weeks in the plant unit. In your teacher's guide, you also have the appendix, which has a variety of different resources that you will need to complete the course with. And you also have your glossary, and then there's some templates, and you have a, product, a project record sheet, and then some schedule choices for you. Now there are quite a few pages of introductory information um, about the course and how to do it and everything else which is fabulous um, for anyone starting out with a new science curriculum it's always useful to see exactly how it works and how the author envisaged, envisaged you to actually um, teach the course so it talks about memorization quizzes um, projects and activities and then obviously some helpful articles which are always great she has a podcast um, the lady who actually 
uh, wrote this curriculum has a podcast um, that is really good I, I really enjoy listening to that um, to help you as you continue on now a required book list this will tell you exactly what you need for various grade levels so for example if you have a k through second child uh, second grade child or if, if you have a fourth through sixth grade child so you can tailor the books that are required to your ch children's age which is really good she's, she's definitely thought this out um, because obviously you can use this curriculum with multiple ages then um, you're just able to go into a bit more detail for the older ones um, and then you have your scientific demonstration books that you need to complete the course so here they are over here so we have the kingfisher first encyclopedia of animals the dk encyclopedia of animals uh, biology for every kid and signs around the world now you'll note that i did actually purchase this um, as well as the first encyclopedia of animals that was just because um, i think this is a fabulous book um, and i thought we'll definitely be studying animals in the future so why not just get both um, and i do really enjoy the fact that we actually have two of them but you only do require one to actually complete the animals unit now she has an additional book list she has an additional book list by week so if you want to go to your library or if you want to obviously purchase a few of the books from her recommended list that will you know support and just go into a bit more detail for the specific topics that you're covering then she has done all the work for you so she's gone through every single week and picked a wide range of books that you could consider to use and we do um uh purchase or borrow or find used um a range of the books not every single one because obviously that's going to really bump up your price but we do try to at least get one of her additional resources to go along with the units and it's great as i said that she's she's put the thought into it and you know and is giving you quite a few options to consider that will support your studies along the way and as you can see she has done that for every single uh, unit so those were all the animals this is the human body and you'll note that there are some really popular books, the Magic School Bus books, which my daughter adores, um, the From Seed to Apple, uh, anything from by Gail Gibbons is really good too. Um, so she has really thought about the course and really, really thought about what homeschool family needs. And this is another ideal thing for you as a homeschool mom and that's your supplies list so she's broken it down week by week telling you exactly what you need to purchase um, ahead of time if you don't already have them so again she's gone through it for each specific unit so we've got the animals unit the human body and the plants and she's told you exactly what you need to get so that when it comes down to those experiment days you have it there and what I tend to do is um, either get most of it in advance if I can if it's in the budget if not I do six weeks at a time usually put them into a tote and then they're all there ready to go for the experiment day so I'm not um, searching <laughs> around the house for the supplies I already have them and we are ready to go okay now for each unit she gives you an overview this is the overview of the animals unit she's telling you again the books that you need what you'll be doing for the week um, what animals um, that you'll be studying and then she gives you some poems to memorize and I love that she does this my daughter really enjoys doing these poems so this is the um, characteristics of mammals <laughs> poem and they're so fun and my daughter really does remember them so <laughs> it clearly works and she's done one for each of the different um, animals as you can see and then again she has given you broken down a supplies list for weeks one to five then six to twenty she is also giving you a list of vocab for each of the units um, so as you can see they're in bold and then obviously the definition is next to it what I decided to do um, rather than do it this way I made my own little card so I just found pictures wrote the word and then the definition on the back and we use them in our pocket chart and I just thought that would make it a bit more interactive for my daughter um, you could just obviously have dictate the um, the word and the definition for them to write in a notebook um, but I just preferred to do it this way it didn't really take me long at all on the internet um, to find the images that I was looking for and you know to just make these cards just laminated them and then what I do after we've completed a unit is I put them on a ring binder and then we can keep them um, and she can obviously flip through the, flick through them um, to peruse at her leisure 
Okay, now we are going to look at a sample week's lesson. Um, so this is week eight mammals. Um, I just randomly picked one um, to show you. Um, so basically the format is pretty similar for each of the um, lessons uh, or each the lesson plans, I should say. It'll always give you your supplies at the top and then the purpose, so what you're actually trying to show the child. Um, so it's not ambiguous and you're completely clear <laughs> this is what you're actually doing as part of your experiment. It'll give you any instructions that are required. Um, in this case, she's actually showing you the experiment herself, so she's giving you the instructions. In some cases, she'll refer you to one of these books and the instructions for the experiment are in those for you. She's giving you an explanation so you can, you know, obviously discuss that with your child um, if you want to take it further. She's telling you what books you need um, for this particular uh, week. So for each of the animals, what pages they are in the corresponding um, encyclopedias and coordinating animals that you could cover if you wanted to. She's giving you some discussion questions that you can talk about after you've read passages. The optional additional books for each of the weeks are listed again in case you need to or if you want to reference them. And she's giving you some options for how you want to pr uh, produce your writing assignments. So there is an narration page. All of these are in the student workbook, which I'll show you in a second. But this, uh, just to correspond with what we're doing in the teacher's manual, this is the narration page. So your child can either narrate or write a sentence. And obviously they can colour the animals if they choose to. Um, you can also do the lap booking, which we do, and um, which I will show you in a second. She is giving you some vocabulary. So there you go. A vertebrate, an animal with a backbone. Um, then you can... Um, either you know, dictate it or you can use uh, the vocabulary cards like I did to you know explain to your child what a vertebrate is and then as I said they can either write it down in a notebook themselves or you can do flashcards or any anything you want to do really the choice is up to you then she gives you some multi-week projects and activities so one of the projects that you do at the very start of the animal unit is an animal diet chart so every animal that you're studying you're listing into your diet chart um, what they eat basically um, so whether they're a herbivore omnivore or carnivore and you have a picture of the animal that you can color and stick onto the chart or obviously if your child is artistic they can um, draw it themselves or you can help them you know but she's giving you the pictures in case you need them to stick on the other option is to do a habitat poster which is what we did so for each of the habitats um, you can she gives you a printed copy of the habitat sheet which I'll show you in a minute uh, in the student workbook and they can then either stick the animals on themselves or draw them um, or you know obviously you can help them draw them <laughs> whichever way you want to do it to the habitat poster then additional projects for this week. There's always additional projects that you can do as part of the of the curriculum. Um, they're not they're not essential. Um, the experiment obviously is because that's part of the um, the unit and the week that you're studying. But these are great to fit in. Some of them are very. Can, you can uh, coordinate other subjects, for example baking so for this one you're, you're doing a recipe so if you could include that in your baking for that week um this making a model of a school you could say well that was your art project for that week um so you know you can incorporate other subjects into it which i really love um the projects are different every week um depending on what you, what uh, week you're on and what you need to do memorization so i mentioned before we're on the characteristics of mammals poem in this particular week study so they'll they'll keep memorizing that as they go along and then at the bottom there is a weekly quiz option so there there are quiz uh, papers that come along with the with the course and you can then obviously complete the quiz with your student at the end of the week if you choose to and the answers are here for you in the teacher's guide now the other thing i really love about the curriculum is there are two different schedule options that you can look at you can obviously also tailor it to your preference too but i really appreciate that she has actually laid it all out for you so if you want to do all the projects you can do the five day a week schedule if you're you know you just want to pick and choose and do the experiments but maybe not all of the projects then you can choose the two day a week schedule you can alternate it one week you can do five the next week you can do two if there are more things in but that that particular week that you know your child will be interested in then pick the five and then if not pick the two so i really like that she has done that we tend to do the five day week schedule currently um and it works great so either or would probably work very well for you but obviously tailor it to your specific homeschool and your needs okay moving on we have the student workbook 
It starts off very similar to the teacher's manual with all the units listed down for you. And then it moves straight into the required um, pages that you need. Some of these are obviously going to be missing because we have been using them. <laughs> um, but these are your narration pages. And then we have our lab report. So for each experiment, you have a lab report that you can complete. So detailing your tools, your methods, your outcome. Um, this is obviously for the temperature one that you just saw and that you can put your insight at the bottom. And then obviously there's a little picture as well if they want to colour that too. Included in the student notebook is a glossary. If you want to um, have your student narrate or you write it for them, um, or they write themselves <laughs> and a colouring picture as well for each of the different vocabulary words that they will be learning throughout the course and then the quizzes are all at the back if you want to administer any of the quizzes um, as I said this is not complete because we have been using it so it's not a complete um, sample <laughs> of what the um, student workbook looks like but it just gives you an idea and then this has all the memory work options um little poems at the back as well for them my daughter loved this system uh poem and it really helped her uh, figure out and understand what each part of the body system does now we did actually purchase the lap booking templates um separately and it is our preferred method to record our data however we don't do it in a typical lap book format as in you know using a file folder or anything like that we do it in a notebook style so you can really tailor this whole curriculum to your preference which i love so we preferred this year to do it in a uh, lap book use the lap booking templates but in a notebooking style um and I just think that that worked better for us um, this year. We just really liked it that way. But obviously you can do it however you like. It's lovely to do the file folders as well. Anyway, I'm just going to stop waffling and try and hurry along. So again, you've got your table and contents detailing every single unit in there. It's giving you an idea of how to do your lap book if you're new to lap booking. And, you know, how to lay it all out. And then it's got all the templates that you would need for each of the units in here all ready to go for you just need to cut out on color um and i also mentioned we purchased the coloring pages there we are so they are all in here so it has a little description of the picture and then obviously the picture for them to color and i mentioned before the habitats um, posters. I don't think they're all in here because we have used some of them, but this is an example of what the Habitat posters look like. And then you can, or your child, not you, <laughs> can um, stick the relevant animals on there from the appendix um, and colour them in, or they can obviously draw them if they choose to too. Anyway, so how we use the lap booking pages. This is my daughter's science notebook. Okay, so now for each of the little habitats, she did these little um, little lap book, I guess you could call them. So we're detailing where the locations are of the habitats, what the characteristics are, um, the animals that you would find there. So there are a few for grasslands and desert. Um, then obviously the Arctic and woodland. Um, she really likes to colour all these pictures in and she really enjoys um, these lift the flap things and what we do is we write under each one something that she's remembered about that specific animal there are obviously different methods that you can use rather than just coloring so we use some tissue paper for this one to um make or oh, complete the draft and there were some really fun experiments you were talking about hair projects and fingerprints um such fun activities that go along with the curriculum so that is how we use it um, in terms of the lap booking pages and the coloring pages and then I thought I'd just show you one more lesson um, this one is the human body unit this is week 10 the immune system so our experiment is bacterial growth it tells you exactly um, what uh, page you need in the book and I'll just open that for you so you can see so turning to the required page the experiment is laid out for you. Hello, that's my sock. <laughs> um, with some pictures as well to help. So you know what you're doing. Um, there is a take it further option as well. It tells you exactly what pages you need to read in your encyclopedias. So covering germs, body systems, body defenses even. Bacteria and viruses, the immune system, diseases. Uh, optional um, 
information that you can read on germs. So what are germs, discussion questions, body defences. Um, so you can ask all these questions during or after your reading time, while you're reading. Uh, additional books that you could choose. Again, you've got your narration page or your lap booking page, your vocabulary. There are no particular unit products for this one. So as you noticed in the other um, lesson plan that I did actually show you, there were, it's very rare though that there aren't additional projects, but there are colouring pages and then we have, um, oh no, sorry, I'm getting completely, completely confused. Okay, so unit projects, they're talking about nothing in addition. So for example, with the, with the animal unit project, we were doing the habitats posters or, um, what was it? the diet posters that's what I meant <laughs> so there are no projects for this um, particular week in terms of what's required for the curriculum however she does have additional projects for you to do so there are colouring pages and then there is a germs project um, there are also body defence projects as well so you can talk about a make a well versus sick poster uh, there's also a project on allergies that you can do as well. There's your memorization. You've got your quiz down there and your answers. Um, over on the next page, you have got your two option schedules for a two day or a five day. I hope that was helpful for you and gave you a good insight into elemental science, biology for the grammar stage. Um, we are doing the next uh, course up after the biology, covering astronomy, space, planet earth um fossils rocks and fossils so it's a wide range um i'm really looking forward to it my daughter is, is very excited about it too so this is our i should have said at the beginning this is our second year of using elemental science the first year we did the introduction to science this time obviously we are doing um biology for the grammar stage and then next year we are covering astronomy and space so we're really excited to continue with the pro with the program i do really recommend it we have thoroughly enjoyed it uh, my daughter is really picking up on the concept. She loves the experiments and it's very reasonably priced. Although I, I say that tentatively, I hope she doesn't push the price up. <laughs> um, but bear in mind, you do have to purchase the additional books as well. Um, but I still think it's great value for money and I would recommend. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon.